Every genre of music that you could think of or any good feeling song that you know, we kind of theme them. It's crazy oh. what we've done. Here's one story that got us in our feels this Friday. We're taking a look at a father-daughter duo who found a way to give back to various charities through Zoom concerts amid COVID-19. Meet Richard Weitz, a WME talent agent and his daughter Demi. The pair are making waves in the music industry for starting a Zoom party series titled RW Corn Tunes, which has raised more than seven million dollars for more than a dozen charities. The weekly virtual gathering hosts a long list of music giants who not only perform some of their greatest hits, but also take time to share personal stories. Cindy Lauper, Taylor Dane, Florida Georgia Line, Lauren Daigle, this newcomer Jack Ross, we had Teddy Swims. We've had, I would say, legacy artists and, and brand new artists. That's what's really been so incredible for us, is being able to give music of all sorts. We've had country, we've had Broadway, rock, soft pop. This is the book that was how we started. It is now filled with all the different people and 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 contacts and and depending on the organization that we're doing for the week the artists will vary so it we really changed it last week it changes there is an order now of a run of show but i will switch it up and a drop of a hat on saturday when we have broadway cares adina menzel five minutes before said can i come on and so we put her on because she only had a window of 15 minutes the fun of it also is it's spontaneous i mean she's yelling at her kid walk or clean your room or say, hold on a second. You really are in people's homes. But the exclusive concert series didn't start how you would expect. My school went remote on March 13th. My birthday was coming up and my dad wanted to do something really, really fun for me because it was at the very, very, very beginning of quarantine. And this piano player from Chicago contacted my dad and said, hey, all of the piano bars are shut down. Is there any way we could set up a Zoom and maybe do a little virtual piano bar? So my dad Dad got 40 of my friends together and I came downstairs in this very spot and this amazing piano player Dario started serenading me and my friends. However, it seems like the virtual piano bar was missing a little something extra. I just said, we need some other people to come on. And so I texted my old friend, Debbie Gibson said, what are you doing? She goes, I'm doing nothing. I'll get on the Zoom. And so she started playing. And then my, my friend Melvin Marr said, hold on a second. And he threw on John Mayer. And then Debbie went crazy. But it didn't end there. The father-daughter team would go on to set up a few more Zoom concerts with a little help from some famous friends. And what started as a simple online Online birthday soiree quickly became a place to lift people's spirits during a time of social isolation. It was just a fun way to build a community while at home, while bored, while trying to yeah. raise some money for Dario, and that's how it started. We put out emails, and so just people that I work with are new. A uh, friend of mine and client is Josh Groban, and I said, would you please come on this? And so he did, and he played Bridge Over Troubled Water, and Clive Davis, I said, you should just check this out. We're gonna tell some stories, and it's just fun before dinner. Once the pair saw how popular the first initial concerts became, Demi realized that they now had a platform to help others. It was 10 minutes before the Zoom. It was our fourth Zoom. And I go, you know what? We have this platform. It's growing. We need to raise money for charity. It's not an if, it's not a should we. It's we are raising money for charity. This exclusive Hollywood Zoom is now turning to benefit concerts, to benefit and help those that are in dire need right now. Through word of mouth, Demi and Richard saw their project take them to new heights. Through this, we've kind of built like a little music empire. And my dad is in the entertainment industry, so that was a really great extra. But push. I don't even know most of these people. But we don't know most of these people, but we just did the free clinic, which was for healthcare. And then we started to go to frontline workers and different hospitals. And we expanded nationally across the United States, but it wasn't really until we did the United Way for Greater Los Angeles, which was this thing called Project Room Key. And each kit takes a homeless person off the street and into a motel and gives them basic necessities. And that day, Mayor Garcetti came on and that's what really legitimized it for us. The duo hasn't slowed down. 
They even hosted the only concert at the Hollywood Bowl this summer. The venue closed its doors for the first time in nearly 100 years due to COVID-19. And most recently, they teamed up with the cast of Hamilton to raise $800,000 for the Equal Justice Initiative, which works to end mass incarceration. Next up, they will be joining forces with John Legend to raise money for Free America and hashtag Free the Vote campaign. In November, we need to educate people to make sure that we have the voices of the Demi Whites, because Demi's 17, so she's going to miss this election. So and so how do you groom and educate these teenagers and this next generation to make sure that they're, we're changing the world the way the, the world should be changed? How do these teenagers educate older generations on the way to change the world and who to vote for and what is politically best for our country? I think it's the other way around. It's safe to say that dad is very proud of his daughter. I think as a father, when you're asked, how does it make you feel to see what your daughter is being a part of and using a platform that really was always there but never thought it, it existed for her is the most heartwarming thing for me and my wife. Um, personally, all I can think about is flash forward 10 plus years, whatever it may be, where I'm giving a speech, hopefully at a wedding where people will be around and to remember these moments of what we have experienced and to watch Demi grow. I love and I'm so proud of my daughter. I hope there'll be many more quarantines because this I never want to stop and I'm going to enjoy it. Love you, Dad. Thanks, Dad.